Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about Orbit. So, Orbit is the command that is used to move a SketchUp model in 3D space. It's separate from things like zooming and panning, which we'll cover those as well. But uh, Orbit itself is its own command, and there's a couple different ways to use it, and we're gonna look at them right now. Okay, so here we are. We're in a simple model. This model has Sal sitting here, and then we got a little box in 3D, just something to spin around in 3D space. So Orbit actually does have its own command. It's not part of the default toolbar, so you won't see it here. You do have to hit the little ellipse on the bottom. And this bottom section right now, this is the default toolbar. The very first item in there is Orbit. If you click on Orbit, you have the ability to, with whatever your input tool is, just click on the screen and that becomes a handle to move in 3D. So it doesn't matter if I'm in just draw mode or click, move, click with a pencil. If I want to come in here with my finger, any place I pick becomes the handle that I'm dragging by in 3D space. And if I'm in a mouse, same thing, click, drag, so that option is there. Uh, we also, as we do this, there is an option to suspend gravity. If I turn off suspend gravity, I can end up making some uncomfortable things happen. So as I spin around, uh, this is suspended gravity. This is a little, this can be rough, to, I'll be honest. This, is, this, this can create kind of a rough situation for yourself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn gravity back on because I like gravity and it makes it easier to move around in 3D space. So normally with gravity turned on, when I'm not suspending gravity, uh, it kind of keeps down, down. So as I spin around this model, uh, the floor stays at the bottom and I move around. That's kind of the normal way to do this. So I mentioned there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, we talked about the, the different input tools. And one of the things I'll point out is no matter what your input tool, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pencil back and I'm gonna come over here to the pencil tool, so the draw line tool. And now if I click and start drawing, uh, start clicking on the screen, I'm gonna start drawing a line. Regardless, if I come over here and just quickly use my finger to move like this, I jump into orbit. Now this is a different orbit than I see over here, kind of. It does the same thing, but what it does is it suspends the tool that I'm using for as long as my finger's on the screen, as soon as I release it, I'm back into it. So does that mean? That means I can click here, start drawing a line, I'm start moving around, and then I'm gonna go, all right, now orbit, I'm gonna spin around, and now I can pick that line back up. I'm gonna come around to the other side of the, the cube, perhaps. Oops. And I can come back over here and keep moving it. So temporarily stops your process. Whatever your tool you're using temporarily stops it and then resumes it as soon as you release. This is the easiest way that I've found to use this uh, orbit on SketchUp for iPad is switching between using my, my pencil to do the input and then hopping in with my finger to just jump into orbit. Even if you're using your finger for input, so if I come in here, if I wanna finish this, this line, I'm gonna push hard here to finish it. Even if I'm in this mode where I'm drawing now with my finger instead of the uh, stylus, I can still, by quickly just swiping on the screen, jump right into orbit. See that? So a long press is still gonna let me do whatever the input tool is with, with my finger, but a, a quick just touch on it and start dragging is going to put me into orbit. Likewise with the mouse, so basically taking a note from SketchUp for iPad, this is a three button mouse. So if I press on the scroll wheel, same thing, I'm in orbit. So very quick, very easy way to move around. If you are doing it with the mouse, just use your click button to do your command and then the uh, middle mouse button to jump into orbit. If you're inputting with finger or stylus, just touch the finger on the screen and immediately start moving and you'll be orbiting. Like I said before, if I, if I long press on it, it's gonna do whatever command I'm in, but uh, just click and drag and that will get rid of my I don't need my stuff over here anymore. Um, click and drag and you'll immediately, or tap and drag, I don't know, touch and drag, that's probably right. You're immediately in orbit. 
There is the dedicated tool if for whatever reason you really want to get in there and use this, the, the pencil to use it as a handle or something like that. It's an option, but more likely than not, you're just going to use one of the other shortcut methods. That's why they're there. They're shortcuts. They're quicker. So hopefully that makes sense. I mean, Orbit's one of those fundamental things that I know we talked about uh, navigating, but we did want to make a comprehensive video set. So I want to get into it and go a little bit deeper. Uh, hopefully that, that helps clarify exactly what Orbit is and how to use it. There's a lot of different ways to use it. So, I mean, you got the button on the sidebar. You can click while you're using the pencil. You can, you know, just drag your finger, use the middle screen scroll button. So lots of options, but they all do the same thing. They take you and let you move in 3D space uh, real quickly, real easily. If you like that video, click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. How do you orbit? What's your favorite way to do it in SketchUp for iPad? We like making these videos a lot. We like even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.